possibly the most popular graduation ceremony this season being shared around the world thanks yep. to the internet. Talking about the Kahuku High School graduation, if you haven't seen it, here's a clip. I was really excited because every year Kahuku does a performance dance performance and it's the highlight of, well besides getting your diploma, it's the highlight of the whole graduation ceremony. Um, so when it came up, I was so excited to participate in that and just have them announce my name and me to walk up on the stage and get my diploma and take my pictures. It was definitely, you know, what I envisioned. And what happened? I wasn't able to participate. I tried to get um, a white gown, which is for females, and the red gowns was for the males. I tried to get the white gown. Um, and Miss Masaniari wasn't okay with that. Kahuku Sr. singing and dancing is nothing new. In fact, the tradition dates back to 1995, when now principal Pauline Masaniani was a teacher and senior class advisor. I felt overall as I watched the practices that every student was thoroughly enjoying themselves and really going all out. She's a strong member in the church. So I figured if that's her belief, she wouldn't have any sympathy for, you know, me being transgender. She would give me little talks here and there about me being, or supposed to be, a boy and, you know, me holding the priest that I'm supposed to bring that, you know, representation to school. Then people know that I am a member and that I have, do have the priesthood and I'm supposed to be acting a certain way and um, being this certain way. And it was a problem for me because it wasn't true. I wasn't being true to myself if I was to follow those uh, guidelines that she had for me. Then at a graduation, I decided not to go because I felt like you know, I'm supposed to be up there. And if I'm not going to be up there, I don't want to watch. And I never did watch the video. Because I still feel like I'm supposed to be there in that video. And for it to go viral without me, I hurt so much. <sighs> I definitely regret not showing up to just watch and support my peers and my classmates. But I was just really stubborn because I just felt like, you know, why the hell should I go? Why should I go and watch Miss Masani? I go up there and announce everybody's name but mine. You know, it's not fair. It's heartbreaking to see your child go through high school participating in all the different events and as a parent going to these events and enjoying them and being in that moment and then at the very end um, be stripped of that final event that kind of ties in everything. After I graduated high school I decided to move to California to you know, spread my wings as Jenea. And then as 2015 was coming to an end, I decided to come home because Laie is my home, Hawaii is my home. And I definitely miss my parents and my siblings. Hey, you mentioned you never saw that video of the graduation. Would you be interested in looking at it? And yeah, I never did see the video. It's, I mean, I thought about it, and then when I get the chance, I'm just like, Ugh, do I really want to watch this? But I think it's been, it's almost going to be a year, May next year. So yeah, I am ready to watch it.
start watching this, I was going to get either really emotional because I wasn't there or angry because I wasn't being able to participate. It looks like everyone had a good time. And I'm really happy that Everyone got to, or they got to have their, their last hurrah. And here's to all the tough girls. And here's to all the sensitive boys. We belong. And when the same old voices say, there we be.